today I'm going to show you how I like to set up my electric guitars. I do recommend adding a new set of strings to your guitar before performing the setup. If you're unsure about how to restring your guitar, I will put a link on the screen now which you can follow to watch my video on how to do that. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to talk about the truss rod. If we imagine that this ruler here is a guitar neck, the truss rod basically allows you to add back bow, like this, or up bow, like this, to a guitar's neck. The way that I like to think about truss rod adjustments is when the strings are on the guitar, like this, the strings are adding tension to this neck, pulling it this way. The truss rod allows you to counteract that pull by, like I said before, adding back bow. Now you don't really want back bow because the string can't freely vibrate if the neck has a back bow. You see the hump in the middle here would basically stop the string from vibrating properly, from oscillating correctly. What you want ideally is a pretty straight neck with an ever so slight upward bow. Now this is an extreme example even just on this ruler here, it would never look like this. That would be way too much of an upward bow. Usually it's it's so slight that it can't really be seen by eye unless you look you know, directly down the neck like this. The first step is to add a capo to the first fret. And then I'm gonna press down on the last fret of the neck here. So with the first fret pressed down using the capo and the last fret pressed down with my right hand, what we need to do to check whether the truss rod is adjusted correctly, is check for a gap underneath the eighth fret. The size of the gap from Fender's website, which I will link below, the gap should be 0.25 mil. So I've got a feeler gauge here, which I'm gonna check the gap. And I can see just from eye that it's too small, but I'm just gonna show you here. I can't even get that underneath the string, you know, without pushing the string out of the way. So I know that this gap is too small which tells me that the neck has a slight backward bow. The truss rod is too tight. What we need to do is loosen the neck slightly so that the strings can sort of start to win the fight, if you like, against the neck. Okay, so we've measured that the gap is too small. We need to make that gap slightly bigger. And to do that, we're gonna find the correct Allen key for this guitar, which in my case is a four mil. And we're gonna insert it in here and what we're going to do to add up bow is we need to loosen the screw. So with the Allen key in place, turn it about a quarter of a turn, no more, to the left, if you were looking at it from this perspective. Okay, so I've tuned back up again. It's important between each adjustment that you tune up because adjusting the truss rod will slightly uh, either sharpen or flatten the strings depending on which way you're adjusting it and I'm just gonna take the measurement at the eighth fret. It fits under nicely now. If the string is vibrating slightly, if you pick it and create a sound with it, the failure gauge should stop that sound. That's when you know it's, you know, the right, uh, the right height. 